Hey girl, my name is Anwar White. I'm a dating coach for black and brown women. And obviously there's been a lot of controversy and discussion around what you should settle for and what you shouldn't settle for. And I just wanted to come on here because I know that I have a lot of women out there that are looking for specific things and they have a specific list. And I want to offer to you what that list, that list looks like when you actually put it into practice, yeah? So many of my clients, many of the women that I talk to want a guy with a grad degree who's six feet or taller and is making six figures. And so I, I ran the data and the numbers for you so that you understand what that looks like and per city. So what that looks like is that if you're dealing with all guys, 13% of guys have grad degrees, 15% of guys are six feet and taller, and 9% of guys make six figures or more, right? If you're just focused on black men, then only 8% of black men have grad degrees, 17% are six feet and taller, and only 2% make six figures or more. Now, please understand this is what they call the talented 10th or the cream of the crop, and so Normally, if you are a black woman, roughly a third of the guys will be checking for you, but this, these guys, it's only gonna be about 10%. So what does that mean? It means that if you are checking for all of these guys, all men, then one out of roughly 5,500 will be a match. If it's just black guys, it's one out of basically 33,000. So I wanted to break this down by city because I, I had a video earlier that discussed actually what it looked like to date and what the worst cities to date in were. And I picked Atlanta, Houston, and LA. Now, if you actually, and I want to, if you look down here on this side, this is the actual black man uh, numbers per city. And based on the statistics, how many men are going to be aligned with that list? And you'll see in Atlanta, there are gonna be only three guys that are gonna be aligned to that list for you. Houston, roughly seven guys you're looking for. LA, five guys, and DC specific, four men, right? That have all of these things that are going to be checking for you. Now, if you widen out, and this is what I do with my clients, and we focus on the DMV area, you, you 5x your chance in the DC area. But please understand, if you open up your actual net, your dating net, girl, then you can 10 to 30x your chances of finding your guy. So please understand, if you need help to navigate what your list should be, and based on deeper emotional needs versus what you want, book a call with me so I can help you navigate this. I wish you well. Change your race to white or Asian, but hide it. So when a man sees it, he's in your... Okay, so my hinge is already deleted, right? Because it's just, you know, a fucking mess. But anyway, the girl in the video I just stitched said that in one of her videos, someone told her to change the race to white or Asian and hide it in the profile. First of all, I didn't even know you could change it. So I re-downloaded Hinge and I created a whole new fresh profile. I'm not even dating right now, but curiosity is getting the best of me. So the phone number I used was my Google voice number, my name, OD on <sighs> 10 out of 10 <laughs> created. So first I had selected only white but then i went in of course you can select multi so i did black asian south asian and white caucasian because someone was like well if they only selected white then it would be kind of fishy that you showed up so that's why i did all four you know she's quadracial <laughs> not me mick I did make sure to use accurate photos of myself. These are all photos within six months, maybe close to a year, within like the last year. Answer the profile questions. You know, I tried to keep it as basic as possible. First, I was just going to put just ask, but I feel like, uh, you know, anyway, so I answered it. I didn't screenshot. So then I made it live, right? Tell me why the first person that popped up, not that I match with, but the first person that popped up on my feed was a fucking attorney bitch i ain't never seen an attorney there before like i'm gagged and he black a black attorney like hmm 
I didn't like any of the uh, profiles yet, but it just gagged me that the first one I saw, the literal first profile I saw was an attorney. Hinge, whoever's doing a class action, sign me up for that shit. Anyway, I'm going to keep it up and I'm going to just keep going through it. Um, I'm not going to like anyone. I'm just going to like go through it just to see what I'm getting, if it's different than what I had before. And I... Since a lot of men are visual creatures, uh, let me walk through what I just made. Why I won't sleep with a man who makes less than $200,000 a year. The average one bedroom apartment in LA, this is where I live, is $2,800 a month, although my rent is significantly more than this. That means that you have to make three times the rent in order to qualify. That's $8,400 a month before taxes and $100,000, $800,000 a year. But hold on, I know what you're thinking. That sounds like a lot of money. Just wait. Men want to do this thing where they want to take your pants off, and that's fine because I want to take my pants off too, but hold on. If we have a little baby, oops, uh, the average two bedroom in Los Angeles is $3,800. That means that you now have to make $11,400 a month, which brings you to $136,800 a year. I know what you're thinking, oh my God, that's so much money, but wait. You're not really coming home with that $136,800 because you have roughly 30% in taxes, and this is a conservative estimate, okay? Meaning that $41,040 of that is gonna be taken, so your new bring home is gonna be $95,760 a year, but hold on. If we divide that by 52 weeks, that means that you are gonna bring home $1,841.54 weekly, or $7,366 monthly. I know what you're thinking, that's amazing. However, you have benefits. Do you know how much benefits are for a family of three on a silver PPO plan? Because be so for real, I am not giving birth in a county hospital, okay? Also, um, let's just pay a higher premium now unless you wanna get a bill for $100,000 at the end of the birth, okay? So now we're back to this $7,366, oh, and uh, 16 cents a month. But let's just say, let's estimate that we are doing $700 biweekly on a family of three medical dental vision benefit plan. That would be a new $5,900 take home. But wait, we still have to pay rent. $5,900 minus $3,800 for that average two bedroom because where's our baby gonna sleep in the living room? Be for real. Um, that means that we have left over $2,100 for the month, but we still have cars, insurance, utilities, food, clothes, the dogs need to eat, veterinary expenses that we wouldn't have expected, baby things, etc. Sir, we are now in the negative. And I'm sorry, but I am not gonna sleep with a man to accidentally get pregnant when we are gonna be living check to check because you physically cannot afford it. And I know what you're gonna say, you should get a job, you should be working. The average cost of childcare in the state of California is $16,866 per year for ages zero to two or $11,999 for ages three to five. I am not gonna go and get yelled at by a boss and be stressed out and wake up and spend four hours a day commuting, two hours there, two hours back, this is LA, we have traffic, just to go and pay that much money in childcare when I could be home with the child. And before you say, oh my God, like you just wanna leech off of a man, you're a bum. Um, babe, this is me in my two-story apartment here in LA that I pay for by myself. So if I could already make all of this go round alone, why would I wanna complicate my life and add you to it? Mm, okay. Black women have a problem that most black men are stepping outside of their race, right? Mm. Well, fact number one is there's a reason for that. If those men are searching for feminine women, why don't you just implement what they're looking for? Fact number two, what they ended up doing is those of you that are capable and, you know, willing to work and become a successful African-American woman. So now let's switch it up. So now we have African-American women who are super successful. What's the first thing that they do? They shit on the black man. Now we got stats. Black women are graduating colleges at a higher rate than black men. Black women are, are more making 30% or whatever the stat is they, more than black. And they and they rave about it instead of saying, I'm going to give back to my community. And they don't mentor the women below them. And they don't understand that black men don't care about your degree. Yep. We don't care about your, your <laughs> profession. Facts. And now you're by yourself. Because you're not a partner. And you're operating for yourself. Hey, I'm over here. My name's Anwar, I'm a dating coach for black women, and so often I hear about black women who are just focused on dating black men, and I wanted to break down the numbers because I was an undergrad statistics major, so I look up at love quantitatively and qualitatively. So I wanted to break it down to let you know how difficult you are making your love life be just by focusing on black men, 
okay? So for every 100 men, 13% of those men are black. So you have 13 men out of 100. Now, 80% of those guys are not going to be ready for a relationship. That's across the board. Any color <laughs> of guy, they're just not going to be ready if they're single. Yeah, so we go from 13 to 3. Now, if we take into account unemployment, underemployment, gay, and in prison, you are looking at 2 out of every 100 men, 2 black men out of every 100 men that are going to be bare minimum available for a relationship. So that's one out of 50, okay? One out of 50. Now, I wanna talk about the talented 10th qualities that so many of you all are looking at, right? He's gotta be six foot, feet or taller. He's gotta have a graduate degree, six figures. When you have that criteria, you are looking at one out of every 250 men, okay? Now, if you just look at everybody, right? And you do the same math, the same statistics, one out of every seven guys is ready for a relationship. So if you're focusing on just black guys, bare minimum, it's seven times harder. If you are focused on the talented 10th, you are making it 35 times harder to get your guy. We get to do it easier. And if you want to learn how to do this well, girl, you better talk to me. Now, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. If you want to keep on making love hard, girl, by all means, it's your love life. Get your life. There are non-black men checking for you, and you get to make this love life thing much easier by opening and widening your net and just focusing on the men that are going to treat you the best, regardless of what color they are. I hope this helps. Let me know in the comments what you think. Is this going to convince you to date everybody? Please say yes.